everybody what's up welcome back to another borderlands 3 video guys today a bit of a special one that we got we have one of my personal favorite all-time guns in this game uh back with us our good old lucian's pushians right the lucian's goal you know this was the first gun that i ever did showcase on the channel uh in this game way way back i think it was even before i was even level 50 and uh yeah I, I really like this gun a lot obviously whenever mayhem 10 came out this thing did take a bit of a nosedive off of usability and usage however it slowly crawled its way back and now we're here uh on october 23rd uh, uh yeah october 23rd 2020 crazy how this game is is less than a month away from pushing its one year uh release date already that's scary that's wow honestly that's insane but uh, let's go ahead and talk about some of the setups that we got with it. Oh, we're on the we're on the very same flag that we were with the Rowan's call the other day. Uh, but I believe uh, a lot of us, including myself, uh, will probably say that the uh, the Lucian's call is probably the better one out of the two, right? Uh, this one is the uh, more accurate, uh, faster firing, and you won't have to reload it hardly ever, especially if you're flak or Mo's for sure. And you know this thing is just it's really good. It's really good. 94% extra weapon damage, 33% weapon fire rate. That's going to be very useful. Uh, we're going to be running, uh, along with our corrosive current side kits, we're going to be running a shock old god, and then we'll be running radiation AC on the Mighty Hunter Seeker, and then we have our pearl of uh, max size and fire rates, and then we have our stack bot uh, with weapon crit, weapon damage, and um, some more mag size, which is always pretty nice. Come over here to our stalker tree. Here it is. Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be raining down some uh, some bullets with how much extra fire rate uh, with how much extra fire rate that we have specced into and all our uh, equipment and gear and all the good stuff. So that'll be awesome. But it's it's the same build that we used for the Rowan's call setup. Obviously, we want to fang with this because this is a single projectile weapon. So you definitely want to create create as many projectiles as you can, and more so than the uh, than the Rowan's call. The Lucian's call is not gonna reload, especially if you're on uh, Flak or Mo's. Uh, obviously, you know Galactic Shadow Mega Bar must. And uh, yeah, everything else uh, is pretty self-explanatory. And then we do have three unit persistence hunter. Anyways, though, guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, guys, so we are actually at the uh, Jacob's estate to start things off here. Figured uh, this would be a nice little area we can start things off and just warm it up, see what the Lucian's call uh, is uh, able to do in Mayhem 10 uh, with this type of setup. Except for to be uh, not terrible. Uh, the dog damage is not great whenever standing in water. Uh, it is what it is sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this thing is kind of just doing everything pretty casually. I think it might be a bit wiser to take uh, to rock a rack though with Illusion's call. I think that's the move. Yeah, we're never, okay, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead, uh, we're gonna kill these last couple enemies over here, and then I'm actually gonna uh, switch up to a rack build, and we're gonna uh, just move on over. Uh, probably to the first area of the garden take down, so yeah. Uh, with that being said though, guys, uh, I will see y'all in just a second. All right, so we're here at the Guardian Takedown, y'all. Let me go ahead and open up what we're doing and showing everything off uh, since we switched up a little things just a little bit. We went ahead and switched over to a rack pack setup. Figured this be a little bit more useful. We can uh, really get the right, uh, run through our ACs pretty consistently. Uh, I, I'm gonna try not to use the frozen heart with this. Uh, I really wanna try and get as many ACs as we possibly can. And yeah, we just put a little bit more into Grim Harvest and we just have nothing into the Master Tree now. So yeah, I just figured I'd go ahead and show y'all just a little bit of uh, changes that we went ahead and made through it. I feel like the Lucian's call has always been a little bit better with the racks. 
Uh, as it's like, I mean, you can cycle through the racks a lot quicker than you can with Fatal Waste, but, uh, on a, with Lucian's Call. Now, if this was, a, you know, more, a lot more projectiles, that'd be a little bit different, but obviously, uh, we don't. So, yeah, we're gonna be making, uh, trying to be making more use of it with our the good old rack pack. And, uh, yeah, dude, like, we're just kinda, uh, we're just testing this thing out, dude. Honestly, you know, again, I, I, this is my first time actually using a Lucian's Call inside of the Guardian Takedown. And, uh, now, don't get me wrong, the uh, Corrosive one, I believe, would probably be a little bit better. Uh, okay, first off, the Corrosive one's gonna be a lot better whenever we go to the Malawan tank, which we're gonna do right after this. But even against some of the tankiest, uh, or against some of the, uh, tankiest tankies in the game, seems doing okay. Relatively decent. Although, obviously, at this point, you know, if you wanna get through this area fast, I just use a reflux. The reflux shoots for these uh, guys is super insanely quick. But, I mean, these guys are just, like, super, super tanky. Even though, dude, yesterday the ogre we were using, bro, this thing was shredding through it all. Okay, guys. So at this point, uh, I'm we're gonna we're gonna kill uh, these like just the rest of these enemies. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead over to the Malawan takedown. Uh, I feel I feel like we've already gotten uh, what we need to show right uh, right here so against some of these uh, more tanky enemies. Uh, the, the illusion's called can show just a little bit. Uh, just a little bit, but... Alright, y'all. So, now we're in the good old Malawan takedown. And, uh, I feel like in here for sure, uh, we're gonna do a lot more... Uh, Lucian's Call is gonna do a lot better. Uh, these enemies are just are just not nearly as tanky as uh, the enemies in the Guardian takedown are. So, yeah. Well, let's just... I mean, we're gonna... We're honestly, dude, we're just gonna completely... We're gonna go through this takedown. We're gonna wreck face. This dude's immune. You know what? Maybe, do you know what? Dude, screw it. Let's just do it. All right, Kraken. Let's see what you got, boy. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude, it's much, dude. Look at. Compared to the freaking damage we were doing in the Guardian tank, this thing is way better in here. Almost every little bit better in here. <laughs> because these enemies aren't nearly as tanky. Like honestly, this Kraken feels like it had the single same health as some of uh, some of the Necro Fail enemies that we just faced. It's pretty insane. Holy shit, dude. There we go. There we go. Got Lucian's call. Look at you put in some work. So guys, I don't know if y'all are uh, excited or not, but uh, I think it's on the 25th we're gonna get the uh, reveal for DLC for the. Uh, hopefully, we, the release date is uh, like right. I get. I wish the, the release date is gonna be like right in like the first week of September. We're gonna pick ourselves up. We're gonna kill it. Where are you at? Your, your ultimate attack is pretty insane. That's the reload. Dude, you're going down. We just get the reload animation. Let's go. Big plays. And uh, you're done, bro. So. All right. Cool. Keep this puppy moving. All right, boys. So we are over here at the bridge part of the takedown. Should be able to put some massive work on the Lucian call here. Really help it out. Some dead. Here we go, man. This is what I'm talking about. Lucian's call to look and perform like a champ. Like I know we can. We should be able to do decent against what it's on. Alright, 
Okay, okay. Tell you, man, Lucian's still doing pretty decent. Let's go, boys. We only went down right there because the repulse commando shield. Well, no bullets back in there. Some of the badass we're, we're still melting them pretty fairly, dude. It's pretty sick. You'll love to see it. Look at the accuracy on this one, dude. I love the iron sides of the Lucian skull. They're pretty clean. Oh yeah! All right, yeah, yeah, no cap. Uh, quite <laughs> whenever there's a, uh, a corroder or storm trucker heavyweight, uh, yeah, a little, a little on the strong. Actually, for this fight, we want the stop gap on. We were just gonna go full, full on. Yeah. Go for the eyes. I know this thing is right there. I know this thing's right there. Like, come on. Okay, cool. Slick Thunder damage would not be that bad. Maybe a little bit better. Okay. He's right, he's right, no, it's just an enemy phase. There we go. Alright, here we go. Top half's done. 
a little bit slower than I thought. He's jumping, he's jumping, he's jumping. He's not jumping. I thought he was gonna jump. <laughs> what? Are you serious, dude? He like tickled me. Get out of here. Was there. Probably been one of the more longer World Jump fights that we've had. And boom! All right, cool. Uh, I didn't think we'd be on the World fight for that long. Uh, thought we'd be done with that a little bit quicker. Although we are, yeah, we are able to pop some of the legs. Look at that. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and, and uh, kill some of these enemies real quick, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, outro the video and all that good stuff. Alright guys, so uh, real quick, one look, last look at the setup. Uh, here's our Lucian's Call with the consecutive hits. We did, we were running 3-shot fade away with the stack bot setup, but we did decide to switch it up with a rack pack. And uh, we used the Frozen Heart and the uh, Spirit Pineka Stop Gap with the Action Shield Start. Anointment, a obviously very, very insane anointment. Uh, and then here's our setup that we use for the rack side of things. Um, this one, we, we just didn't have as much in the Grim Harvest over here. Uh, on the fadeaway side of things, but I like I like running the rack uh, set up with the Lucian Skull a little bit more than the uh, fadeaway. But uh, yeah, guys, hope y'all did enjoy the video. Uh, if y'all did, it, okay, look, okay. If you actually want to go ahead and get this gun, guys, I probably should have mentioned this earlier. You actually have to go farm the Sister of Slaughter. Although this thing is a world drop, so keep that in mind. Uh, I I personally just would rather just like farm like take, uh, takedowns or something like that. I would not. I would not want to go and farm the system of slaughter specifically for this thing but uh yeah guys uh real quick i want to give a huge shout out to uh, all my members uh homie jason hyphen janita ward squirrel with a gun chris lively ronaldo and lost grace anyways though guys we'll go into the video my name is Cree. i'll see y'all in the next one peace out everybody